the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 92 with Restrained. Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That sample you just heard was Edge of the World by Restrained, who I've got on the show with me right now. They're a hard rock metal band from Sacramento, California, USA, and we're going to be listening to that song as well as one other while finding out more information about the band. Johnny, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. You know what I was just thinking, as a quick side note, uh, being from NorCal and being a metal band such as that, which you guys are, is there just something in the water in Northern California? Because like we got Metallica, we got Anthrax, we got Slayer, we got all these bands that just are great bands that come from Northern California. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know about anything in the water because I filter my water when it's when it comes around here. So, <laughs> um, I actually grew up in the Bay Area. Um, a lot of actually the bass player uh, Chris grew up in the Bay Area as well, and we're all. Um, from that circle of bands back in those days, that's what we did in high school, man. I mean, we were just, if you weren't in a band, you weren't the cool one. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. At a lunch table all by yourself. Oh yeah. We had nothing but long hair and uh jean jackets back in those days. Oh boy. Marlboro I'm cigarettes. I'm dating myself here, by the way. Oh, fantastic. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's go and listen to that track. Edge of the world.
Kind of back from Edge of the World. Massive track to open up the show with. Now, what's the story or inspiration behind Edge of the World? Well, basically, I mean, we have a lot of uh, political statements that we usually kind of throw into some of the music when we're talking about stuff, uh, whether it be um, homelessness, uh, fighting with the wrong people, the wrong side, that kind of thing. Edge of the World kind of brings a little bit of circle into that where um, we kind of were talking about the masses being uh, – followers sheep if you sheeple if i think that's the common word nowadays is the we're uh following just who and whoever we think we should follow and uh, we're just kind of trying to bring that to light in the words um where they're kind of all leading us off the edge of the world into doom i guess <laughs> yeah well since the earth is flat completely uh it's dangerous topic you know yeah yeah so i it, should... it is <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to go off on a tangent on on the world being flat, but uh, we don't want to get into that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but actually one of my next questions was going to be like, okay, cool. What brought about the name Edge of the World? And so I'm guessing there's some, uh, I don't know, dramatic symbolism with regard to just leading the population just into complete doom? I, I believe, you know, it, it, it is simple like that. I mean, we try to write all these nice, um, we try to paint a picture, but sometimes we get a little bit simple and... and you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, figure speech. We're just we're all kind of going off the edge of the world with all the stuff that's going on with the world nowadays. It just seems like, you know, every day is a new drama or a new group hates another group. And we're all just kind of being led off the edge of the world. Like, you know, it just it's not how it used to be. Yeah. I can't really get any more into depth. Than, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just. Pretty much that. Now, with regard to actually writing the track, was there anything unique in terms of when it came to you guys sitting down and, and banging out the track? Um, it's funny that you say bang out the track because this is actually one that wasn't supposed to make the last album. Um, it was kind of a last minute song. Um, and we were kind of like, you know what, let's just let's just bang this one out and throw it on the album, too. Uh, lyrics came like at the last minute. We actually had the song written, the the melody of the song and the actual structure of the song down. And we we're actually rehearsing it, but we didn't have any lyrics. So Tony and I and Chris got together and kind of just basically banged out the banged out the lyrics. Dad, Tony did most of the, the lyric writing, but uh, it was like a last minute thing. And actually reading in the studio the lyrics as they go along tony's really good at going sing it this way dude sing it this way dude so that's kind of how we went <laughs> yeah and i mean honestly like those are some of the great stories of just legendary tunes for example like led zeppelin's black dog like well they didn't have a name for the tune but there was a black dog hanging around the studio um you know or recently i was watching a george harrison documentary so they're talking about handle with care with the wilburys back the, oh yeah, uh, and they said, you know, George, what's the name of this song? And uh, the story is, he just looked around, found a package that said "Handle with Care," and said, "Oh, it's called Handle with Care." <laughs> he, yeah, I mean, you just never know when the inspirations are. You, you get you know painted into a corner. And it's like we got to come up with something. Let's just come up with something, and you know, we just do. And it it seems you know you never know where it's going to be at. I've got you know friends like we were talking from the Bay Area. Um. Uh, you know, friends of a band back and then they actually had a song called song <laughs> and that's all it was. It was the lyric was, Hey, this is, this is just a song. That's all it is. Yeah. And the title of the song was song. So Absolutely. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Let's go listen to the next track. Not human.
coming back from Not Human. Similar question for you. What is the story or inspiration behind Not Human? Well, get off your cell phones, people. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, Tony and I, when we're, we do a lot of lyric writing and stuff like that, we always talk about, you know, what do we see during every day and, you know, what's a good topic or whatever like this. And, you know, we had had a conversation about um, – you know, just walking around in, you know, a crowded area or a mall or downtown somewhere. And um, what do we see nowadays is everybody's looking down at their phones as they're walking. And, it, you know, I had made the comment because, you know, I'm a big Walking Dead fan. And one of the things was, you know, it really when you see something like that, it really does see like, oh, look at all these Walking Dead people. They're just like they look like zombies walking down the street looking at these cell phones all the time. So, I, you know, it almost kind of they're not human. They're just walking around looking at their cell phones. People live off these cell phones nowadays. So we basically came up with that concept and then we just wrote around that. Um, and it's true. I mean, these, it's it's amazing how people just don't connect face to face anymore no no more face to screen yeah, yeah it's insane yeah i mean I, I we do it too but i mean <laughs> i try to be a little I more can, conscious about it though to be perfectly honest right i mean i'd rather sit in a room with somebody with a you know with a beverage uh whatever beverage it may be mostly rum and coke but um you know have a face-to-face conversation and learn something new you know about somebody instead of just texting someone back and forth there's no interaction with an actual human person at that point you know yeah absolutely cool no now what was unique about the writing process when you guys were working on the track um that one actually uh the music actually tony was living out of state at the time he had moved out of state to colorado and was actually working there and we were functioning as a three-piece band uh it was just isaiah on drums chris and i um tony was still in the band mind you but he would basically fly back we'd do a show and then he'd have to go back to work so a lot of the times we were sitting around with nothing better to do. So Isaiah would came came up with a, a really cool drum lick, and then I just started jam with it, and we came up with the actual song, Isaiah and I, without none of the lyrics. And then um, after that, Tony moved back, and then we just you know, hey, we had this idea that uh, we kind of form, form formulated into a song, and. Then we just sat down and wrote Not Human to it. Wow. Uh, now, something I noticed between the two tracks was coming up with the music first and then developing the lyrics after. Is that pretty common? For us, it's pretty common. Um, I'm not very good with words, as you could probably tell talking to you over the phone. I'm not I'm, – it, being the lead singer, I'm not really actually really good with words. I'm really good with melodies and writing songs. So, And then actually having the studio here in my house – um, I got all this extra time just to sit around and just write and so I'll come up with the music. I'll come up with an idea or Chris will come up with an idea or Tony will come up with an idea and I'll build a song off of that. And then usually what happens is we'll get together, uh, whether it be for practice or if we're just getting together to have a couple of drinks together and just chill. Um, we'll sit down, listen to the music, come up with a concept uh, and then we'll just sit around and write lyrics to it. Um, and that's pretty much how that works out. So yeah, the music does come first, the whole song comes first, and then we can listen to it in our cars and then we can sing to something into our iPhones and then send it to each other. And that's kind of how it comes about. Wow. Cool. Cool. What exciting news do you guys have coming up for rock metal nation to pay attention to? Uh, I would, I would pay attention to some new music coming out. Um, I'm really going to be start pushing. We have a bunch of songs that are written. We just need to finish and get in the studio and kind of demo them out a little bit. Um, but I'm always pushing when it comes to be uh, winter time to let's start recording. Let's start getting some new music out there. We've been playing these songs for a couple of years, although Not Human's only been out for two years now. But uh, it's time to get some new music out there. And we actually have a lot of uh, new ideas coming from Chris this time. And we've been writing a lot of old school type Black Sabbathy type stuff. And um, I'm kind of excited about that because that's where I'm from. You know, I'm, I'm all about the Black Sabbath, Ozzy stuff back in those days. So I'm really eager to kind of see what comes out new music wise. Yeah, very cool stuff. All right. So Rock Metal Nation, if you dug the two tracks that we listened to today, Edge of the World and Not Human, then you're definitely going to dig some new music coming out from Restrained here fairly soon. And I definitely dig the old school Black Sabbath tinge. There's definitely a... Almost like a groove, like a backbeat groove that goes along with Black Sabbath that was just very unique. 
to that. Oh yeah. That yeah if, if if there isn't a groove, I ain't playing it, man. I'm telling you right now, it's got to have that just <laughs> funky groove, just in the pocket kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. How can Rock Metal Nation find out more about you guys? Is there a website that they should go to? Yeah, I mean, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Uh, if you Google us at Restrain, that's R E S T R A Y N E D. I know that was quick, but Restrained with the Y. Uh, everything's going to pop up. We got YouTube videos all over the place. We're all over Twitter. But if you go to Restrained with the Y dot com, um, that'll connect you to everything that we've got: our CDs, our merchandise, um, Twitter, our Facebook, uh, any online site that you want to connect us to. We'll be there. All right, so Rock Metal Nation, if you like everything that you heard today, you go ahead and head over to your favorite social media site, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or if you want, just go and go to Restrain.com, so that's Restrained with a Y, or you can also go and head over to today's show notes. It's going to be www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You can get all the necessary links. Now, Johnny, unless there's anything else you'd like to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing your creativity with Rock Metal Nation. Uh, no, I just say hey, I want to thank everybody uh we always appreciate the great support that everybody has, uh, especially you, John, giving a podcast out to us. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Just uh, listen to local music, man, and love it. All right, Rock Metal Nation. Hope you just found your new favorite band and restrained. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.